All right, family, we're back at it once again. Chauncey, a.k.a. the Black Separatist, with another GMOG Media TV reaction. All right, so I came across this video earlier today, and when I saw the title, I was like, let me check this out and see what this is about. So I saw this on... Um, Black Sports Online, and uh, shout out to that website. Uh, I've been following Black Sports Online for, for like six, seven years. It's been a long time, so I've been a, I've been a huge supporter of the site. But anyway, um, this uh, particular article and it's accompanied by a video which I will play and react to, is regarding a uh, single mother. Okay, a uh, black single mother uh, out of Atlanta. And um, as far as I know from the story, uh, she has two boys, one six-year-old. The six, her six-year-old son is a huge fan of Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. And um, she apparently had bought some tickets online from StubHub.com. And turns out that the tickets she bought uh, were basically, she got scammed. You know, they weren't real tickets and she paid her money for the tickets, but never got the tickets. And, um, she basically voiced her, uh, you know, her displeasure of that. The golden state warriors, um, office, their organization got wind of her story and they flew out, um, you know, the mother and her son out to a warriors game out in Oakland, California. So I'm going to play this video, react to it and give you guys my thoughts and commentary. Um, and, um, see where this is going. I, I, I mean, the thing about it is family, you know, um, with me, I talk about specifically issues about black people, right? And, and this is what my channel is about. All right. Actually, let me go ahead and do my introduction for those of you who are new to my channel. All right. Let me introduce myself. If you're new, following for the first time, once again, my name is Chauncey a.k.a. The Black Separatist, on this channel, you're watching right now, I talk about counter-racism, and I also talk about issues that affect black people collectively as a group, and I offer my suggestions on how to replace this broken system of injustice, this broken system of racism, which is white supremacy, with a system of justice. So if you are new and you agree to that ideology, Please subscribe to this channel. If you don't agree, subscribe anyway, because I need two things to happen. My view counts and my subscribers to go up. So my message can be widespread about replacing this broken system of injustice with a system of justice. So if you want to hate, watch, and troll, be my guest, because at the end of the day, those kind of people are just view counts and statistics. All right, so uh, as I was saying, family, you know, this particular story, it, it, it strikes me as, you know, as, as being very interesting because for one, she's a single black mother. And I always talk about the black family structure, how important and how vital that is that the black man is involved in their children's life with their actual wife, the, ch the, the, the mother of their child, right? The black man, the black woman and the children. And so this, this story is about a black single mother. She's reported to be a black single mother raising her two children. All right. So before I get further to that and break that down, family, I'm going to um, play the video. All right. And react to it and give you guys my thoughts and commentary. Also, another thing too, family, you know, a lot of you guys, especially who, who follow me for a long time or any significant amount of time, much respect to you guys. Uh, really appreciate you helping my channel grow. For those of you who share my videos, really appreciate you guys for doing that. Um, just, just keep it coming. Um, what I need you guys to help with also is help me with some topics, right? I, I try to be creative and, and, and do diff different topics to, to tackle black issues, right? So let me know in the comment section about which kind of topics that are affecting black people that you want me to address, all right, on this channel. So leave your comments down below about any kind of topic regarding black issues that you want me to address and, and talk about. All right, family. 
So anyway, let's get back into the uh, video. This is about the black single mother who um, has a son that is a huge Steph Curry, Golden State Warriors fan that was flown out to uh, Oakland, California to watch a Golden State Warriors game. All right, so let's get right into it. And I'll give you guys my thoughts and commentary on it. Let's, let's go. In February, I purchased some tickets because the Golden State Warriors were coming in town. And I know my son Isaiah likes Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, the entire Warriors team. I kept telling Isaiah, do better in school, you'd be a good boy. Maybe we can go. So it wasn't until I knew for sure, you know, that I had the money and that he actually earned it that I purchased the tickets a month before the game on um, StubHub. So went to the game, but um, unfortunately we weren't able to get in. The tickets that we had were not valid for some oh, reason. Okay. I did with that and I told him, you know, I'll try to get you there. And I actually just, you know, posted my story online and a lot of people saw it and shared it. Two days later, it was so crazy. Now that's, now that's messed up. I thought that she had bought the tickets and she never got the tickets and you know, they, they scammed her out of her money, but she actually got tickets. She went to the game and was denied access. Now that that's a whole nother level of just embarrassment, you know, um, just humiliation. Any other adjective you can des describe that moment. I would be, if that was in that position, I would feel the same exact way as her. So yeah, I, I understand why she voiced her frustration like that, um, how she did. So I, I definitely understand that. The Warriors invited Isaiah to actually come to the game. This is like a dream come true. I'm watching his dream. It's a nice cake. You know, happen in, in real life right here. That's two good seats for you. Thank you so much. Wow, we got Steve you. Kerr there. That's what's up? Thank you so much. Right. Love your haircut. You see it? It's awesome. Turn it off. You can on the other side. Oh, the big one. And you throw Steph one of the balls. He's going to shoot himself. Maybe next for fun on you. So, Matt, get you out. Okay. He's going to shoot. He's playing. Wow, he's on a court side looking at him shoot. <laughs> Nice. You know, we get to do for a living when we're playing basketball. Yeah. So, um, it's inspiring to all you know, kids of all ages, you know, no matter where they are all over the country. And they can teach a lot about life to me. <laughs> you packing your bags to come out here, but you got some bags to take home. So we got you uh, two little Under Armour SC backpacks so you can take to school with you. Wow. Pretty cool. And I'll let you check this out. Oh, I did look. You got all colors. Make you match them up. Wow. Appreciate you, my man. Good to see you. Thank you. I'll stay with all you. Now that's nice. 
That's boy. nice. That's that's something that that boy is never going to forget. That he's six years old, you know. And my son, you know, he's eight, and um, he's a huge Steph Curry fan as well. Steph Curry has a lot of obviously, probably him and, and LeBron are the two top most popular players in the NBA right now, right? LeBron and, and Steph are the two top most popular players, but um. Steph has a just a huge fan base in terms of just a wide variety of ages that um, you know are fans of Steph Curry. But this is a great story, man. I, I, this was a really great story overall. I mean, I really don't have nothing bad to say regarding the story itself. Me, I'm more intrigued about the single mother, right? I know. <laughs> um. My question is, first of all, you know, you see this pattern of, of, of black single mothers, you know, raising their children. And I, like I keep saying, man, we need to have our black family structure in place. We got a nation build with our black family. And, you know, being a, a black single mother is very difficult. You know, you're the, you're the man and a woman put together basically. Right. Cause like I said, in other videos, that the woman replaces the man at the head as the head of the household, which we know, you know, in a literal sense, that's not true. But in, in, in the aspect of modern society today, that's what's happening right now. You have the woman being the head of the household, but you know, it's very difficult for a, a black single mother to raise their children in today's society. And you know, the pattern and condition within, within the so-called black community is, you know, one of the one of the conditions in terms of symptoms regarding how black women become single mothers is abandonment. The man, the father abandons their children, specifically their daughters. That is a pattern and condition. And I'm not talking about in, for this young lady's story. I'm just talking about in the general sense what you see in our communities is abandonment, right? So, you know, the, the, you know, this, this woman, obviously she's, she's attractive. So, um, you know, the question is, you know, <laughs> the question I'm pretty sure a lot of you dudes is like, well, why is she single? And again, I bring up the symptom of abandonment, right? This, this men, abandon their children, abandon the woman they procreate their children with. And, you know, my last video where I talked about the, the missing girls in DC. And, um, I basically said that the black man failed the black woman, which I'm not going to take that back. That's hundred percent facts. The black man has failed the black woman. And there were some comments talking about, well, no, you can't just blame the black man. It's, it's a collective. Well, of that's the obvious thing. Of course, both sides of the spectrum have issues, right? But I'm a man. So I'm going to attack my gender. I'm going to attack my gender and take the blame. There's obviously a lot of blame on the black woman as well. But since we're the head of the household, we're the leaders, right? We're the providers and protectors and the educators, et cetera, et cetera. We're, we need to be held at a higher accountability rate, which is why I put the black man on a pedestal in terms of the importance of making sure that the black family structure is in place. You have your man, your woman, and your children. Absentee fathers are patterns and conditions within our community. All right. You have, again, absentee fathers. You have just, just dudes just making babies left and right and abandoning their children. All right. Especially their uh, daughters and the, the, the children are growing up fatherless. We, we, we see this pattern and condition time and time again, which is why, again, I'm always, you know, a big advocate on the nation building a black man raising their children with their significant other. Right. In the same household. That's why I'm a huge fan of LeVar Ball. 
You know, I'll, I always praise LeVar Ball and, and the way he raises his children. And it's rare to see fathers from a, a you know, from a sports entertainment perspective be the forefront or the focal point of their children's development in sports. It's usually always the woman being on the sidelines, cheerleading, cheerleading their, their children, et cetera, et cetera. You see the woman, but the man um, being able to develop their child and, and, and help them, you know, be better individuals, but also, you know, in sports, it's something rare, few and far in between. And it's something when you see it, you have to acknowledge it and you just have to give them praise, especially, you know, how each of his children are coming out to be got to give him praise. So, but like I said, at the end of the day, family, you know, this is a great story. The golden state warriors organization, man, that they kudos, man, because that boy, that young man is never going to forget what they did. You know, um, what they did to, um, to him in, in terms of the impression that was left. I mean, he got to meet all the players, court side, the coach. I mean, everything. They they, they laid out the red carpet for that young man, and um, I, that, that that it's a great story. It's it's a it's a great story. But what would the outcome be if the father was in that woman's life raising his sons? I'm not even sure if because she has two uh, sons. I'm not even sure if. Um, the her sons have the same father. I'm not sure, but let's just say for the sake of conversation, she has the same father for both of her children. All right, as far as I know, she has two children. What happened? What would happen if the father was, you know, in the child's life raising the child? What would be the outcome, right? You know what I'm saying? Maybe, um, you know, he would have got the tickets, you know, a, another method, and the whole family would have been able to see, right, the game in Atlanta. But, you know what they say, everything happens for a reason, right? So it was a reason why that happened in that circumstance, and they flew out, they flew her out, the, the family out to Oakland, California. So, um, again, that's a great story, man. It, it's, it's a great story. So, anyway, family, those are my thoughts about that story. Leave your comments down below about this particular story. And um, if you got kids, are they fans of Steph Curry and Golden State? Who are their favorite basketball uh, players and teams? Let me know because, you know, like I said, my son, he loves Steph Curry. He's actually a Miami Heat fan. Also, He's a Miami Heat fan because he's from here. But he just loves Golden State and Steph Curry because obviously, you know, three-pointers, great shooters, et cetera, et cetera. All right. And uh, also, like I said, leave your comments down below about any other topics you'd like me to address regarding black issues. Let me know about that in your in the comments down below. All right, family. So anyway, until next time, Chauncey, AKA the black separatist signing out. Peace.